down no father like I'm Naruto Keep the blade on me, Ichigo Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo Diamonds whipping up on the stove Lucky man like a four-leaf glow Diamonds wanna go on the Hello guys, this is Nagato and welcome back to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm basically going to be showcasing you on how to transfer any PlayStation 2 save file to your PlayStation 3 that is modded. So in this tutorial, before we even get started with the nitty gritty, I'm going to go through each file and then like, you know, the prerequisites. So in this case, you'll need a jailbroken PlayStation 3. I'm not too sure if Han systems could do this, but if you could run PS2 PKG files or ISOs on Han and also um, basically do save data transfer then you could do this as well I'm not too sure um but if you guys know let me know in the comment section down below but besides the point um you gotta have a jailbroken PlayStation 3 in this case I'm using my PS3 slim that's on 4.84 kex this does work with kex or dex models as well um also you need a PS2 game of your choice in this case I'm going to be using Kingdom Hearts 1 right here also you will need your save file which I'll show you guys on how to get pre-modded or not pre-modded save files I should to say but basically save files from online and make sure that your save files are dot psvs i'm not too sure if like dot max files or whatever uh other places your two files or save files uh, operate on your ps3 but it's important that um dot psv um files are the ones you're looking for when you do this process also you need multi-man or you can use webman mod but for the today's tutorial i'm basically going to be showcasing with multi-man you'll also need a usb flash drive that is formatted to fat32 as well or you could also use filezilla and ftp these files over but for today i'm going to just be using my usb drive and then also what you need to do is make a blank folder on your desktop name it all caps with ps3 and then from here make uh, another folder within that folder capitalize it and put export right here as shown here and then you want to capitalize another folder called psv and then make this an empty folder because we're basically what we're going to do is take this little folder right here and drag and drop our basically our save data into this one but let me show you guys on where to get some of your favorite save data so right here, I basically have a website. Uh, this is Game Faculties, or AKA GameSpot. And basically, um, you could just type your game on Google. For example, if your game was, I don't know, uh, Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition, and you wanted a 100% save file, what you could do is just go ahead and download whatever save file you want. Make sure it's not the Code Breaker ones or the Max Drive saves, because or whatever like shark port or any like funny saves and make sure your saves correspond with your region of your game so for example I have the United States version of Kingdom Hearts make sure you get the same version because you can't have a Japanese save file work with a you know USA save file unless you do some type of conversion and I'm not even too sure if that's possible as of right now with the PS3 if it is I'll make a video about it later but what you want to do is just go ahead and you either you can use Google find your save file and then basically in this case um, mine was in a zip folder so you'll need WinWar or 7-zip of your choice let me go ahead and minimize this out and then you should get this file right here dot P is or excuse me dot PSV and it'll tell you the title ID or the content ID of your PS2 game as well and then you could just drag and drop that out to your desktop let me just want to replace the file and now what you want to do once you get your game of choice what we need to go ahead and focus on is basically taking this file right here our save file and this save file is like 100% done in the game and it has all like the money and basically I'm decked out with my character on Kingdom Hearts. So you can just put that in this folder right here. So where it needs to go is PS3, export PSV and then the actual file right here. Let me just make this bigger so you guys can see that. And then once you do that process, what we need to do is go ahead and focus on our flash drive. Now, before stating the flash drive stuff, 
if your game is over four gigabytes and the best way to do that is just hovering over the game or just by hitting properties you're gonna have to do the filezilla ftp method since with fat32 usb drives you can't uh basically transfer any file that is over four gigabytes so if your game is a big uh size game so like say if you think i don't know grand series mode 3 or grand series mode 4 or any big game like i don't know midnight club dub edition 3 remix make sure you use filezilla ftp client to go ahead and transfer over the games into the ps2 iso directory and i'll show you guys in with that later on in the video with multi-man but if your game is lower than like three gigabytes then you can do this the usb method just wanted to get that out the way but now what you want to do is go ahead and plug in your usb of choice this is mine right here and now what we're going to do is verify that basically our thing is on fat32 so what you want to do is go ahead right click go to properties and then where it says file system it should state that it's on fat32 if it's not that's okay um if it says it's on x file or ntfs we have to change it but before um we even get to that process please be sure to back up any of your important files or documents from your flash drive either put it onto another flash drive or onto your desktop because anytime we reformat a usb drive and this is just usually the general rule of thumb um is probably going to reform or basically is going to delete all your files so what we need to do now is go ahead and right click over our usb drive go to format and then from here where it says file system um if it's on ntfs or xfat just go ahead and hit fat32 if the volume label uh, it doesn't matter you can just name it anything i just named mine sony since i was messing with stuff with the playstation classic for your allocation unit size you can either do default allocation size or whatever your pc states for that usb drive it's fine it ain't gonna do really thing uh too drastic and then from here where it says quick format go ahead and toggle this uh button make sure it's checked and then go ahead and hit start and then once you do that it's going to pop a little another notification saying warning by formatting this over release all drives and data to format this just go ahead and hit okay on um, that's what i was trying to say for y'all earlier um basically if you don't um basically if you hit okay and reformat it's basically going to just wipe your drive clean and you won't have any of the data that was on it but now what we want to do assuming that you on fat32 now we got to go ahead and transfer over these three files so you want to go ahead and take your game of choice in this case it's kingdom hearts for me basically i'm not going to redo it since i already have the files transferred over since that would take too long but i could go ahead and show you that you could transfer your, your multi-man pkg and also your um your ps3 file and transfer over i didn't want to do kingdom hearts since it's two gigabytes and i want to make this tutorial a little bit faster but now once your thing is on your usb drive what we need to do now is go to our jailbroken playstation 3 and then get that turned on and then basically uh safely eject your usb drive from your pc and then put it in your ps3 and i'll show you guys on how to install the rest of that process and then basically how to you know make a virtual memory card onto your ps3 so i'll meet you guys back on your ps3s all right guys so assuming that you're back on your playstation 3s what we need to do is go ahead and sign into whatever user but first thing we need to do is go ahead and all the way to the games column into xmb go ahead and scroll down to memory card utility go ahead and hit x and then basically we need to go ahead and create a new internal memory card or a virtual memory card and then make sure you do the first option internal memory card for your playstation 2 go ahead and hit edit you could just name it to whatever or basically just keep it the same um, for this process i'm just going to keep the name uh the same as shown
to it and then from there I'll explain a little bit more on how to transfer over your PlayStation 2 game okay assuming that you installed multi-man and you're now booted into multi-man what we need to do is go ahead and scroll all the way to the left go to file manager slash multi-man operating system let me go ahead and close these two windows out but what we need to do is go to our ps3 root and assuming that your usb is still into your playstation 3 go ahead and hit dev underscore usb 000 if you think it says dev underscore usb 001 002 that doesn't really matter for this process um as long as you can connect to it basically and see all your files to your uh, usb then you can do this what we need to do now is go ahead and take our kingdom hearts game or basically any ps2 game of our choice go ahead and scroll all the way down to it go ahead and hover over it click x over your game once then hit circle and then you get this little menu so either you can cut copy the game what we want to do is go ahead and hit copy and then now you can minimize the screen by hitting x and now where we want to go to is ps3 root dev underscore hdd0 which is our hard drive and then scroll all the way down to where it says ps2 iso and then now we could go ahead and paste our game of our choice which is right here and then by doing that just hit circle and then basically paste over the game and then with this method as well um if you guys are using files of the ftp you will do the same thing so you just go ahead and type in your ps3 uh, ip address and then from there um just go ahead and go to dev underscore hcd0 and then go to ps2 iso and then dump it in there as of right now what i'm going to do is just go ahead and pause the video right here i'm going to let the game do its thing basically once it copies over and then once it's done i'm going to go ahead and boot up the game itself and then show you guys that our save file did work for this process so i'll meet you guys once this thing is done all right so right here guys my thing is about to be almost finished as shown here i think you got like five seconds left but once the thing is done what we want to go to is go ahead and hit r1 basically just refresh right here by hitting game and then basically we should see our game of our choice which is kingdom hearts right now what we want to do is go ahead and just click x and then load the game all right so right here guys my thing is about to be almost finished as shown here i think we got like five seconds left but once the thing is done what we want to go to is go ahead and hit r1 basically just refresh right here by hitting game and then basically we should see our game of our choice which is kingdom hearts right now what we want to do is go ahead and just click x and then load the game and once the game has been mounted as i go up to here into my xmb what you want to do now is go ahead and just go ahead and click your playstation 2 format disc and then it should boot into kingdom hearts or whatever game of your choice all right, so as shown here, guys, basically this is Kingdom Hearts running in real time for my for my PlayStation 3, excuse me. And I do apologize if you may hear the background fan. Anytime when I ran uh, or run PS2 game on my Slim, it just boots into the fan. So what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and load my save file as shown here. And as seen here, I'm basically already level 100 and I haven't even played the game on my PS3. And I'll just show you that um, basically having any custom saves uh, will work on your modded PlayStation 3. I'm just waiting for the game to boot up for one second. Alright, so if I go here, as you see, I basically have all my equipment. I have all my characters decked out to level 100. You can see that um, the time right here, I've been playing for 49 hours supposedly. But yeah, that's basically how you successfully transfer over any PlayStation 2 save file onto your PS3. With that being said, my name is Nagato, and I'm signing out. Thank you guys for watching.